Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. Lots of you are interested in knowing how to make your pregnancy protection as perfect as possible, which is very responsible and should be applauded. But a lot of you ask me questions about combining different forms of birth control and how effective they are. So I'm going to answer a few of those questions now. But keep in mind that my numbers come from the CDC, the US CDC. So they report numbers of how effective a type of birth control is based on typical use. And most forms of birth control that rely on us humans to remember to do something every day or regularly, um, there is more room for error than those forms of birth control that are like an implant or an IUD that are just put in place and are left there. So the reason that numbers get a little bit lower with things like birth control pills or depo is because there is room for human error. Um, but that doesn't mean that everybody has the same efficacy. If you take your birth control pills as prescribed around the same time every day, the chance of you getting pregnant is incredibly low much lower than the reported rate from the CDC. So just keep that in mind, that these are general numbers that are based on typical use. And the ones that involve us remembering to do something are less effective because we're not perfect. We're human. All right, with that in mind, question number one. What are the chances of pregnancy if you use a condom and pull out? So combined, Using a condom and pulling out based on typical rates is going to be about 96% effective, which means that in a year, if you have sex 100 times and you use, well, you can't get pregnant four times, <laughs> meaning that if 100 people use this form of birth control for a year, four of them will get pregnant. So that's, that's the way you do the math there. Um, and the reason is because, again, user error or human error. Question number two, what are the chances of getting pregnant if the girl takes progestin-only birth control pills, which still work, uh, and the guy also withdraws before ejaculation, but a condom is not used? So with typical use of birth control pills plus pulling out, the combined efficacy is going to be 98%, meaning if 100 people use this birth control method, two of them will have a baby that year. All right, question number three. I was wondering, if I'm on the depo shot, use a condom, and pull out, what are the chances of pregnancy? So I want to pause here and say, good job. Um, you are being so cautious. Now, I'm going to say that the, the chance of getting pregnant is like as close to zero as you can get. Because depo, if you're taking it, or if you're getting the depo shot every 13 weeks, then you are using that birth control as effectively as you can. And the rate itself of pregnancy on uh, depo is, is very low. Um, then combining that with a condom plus pulling out, you're basically at like as close to zero as it can get for pregnancy. Question number four. Do you need to use condoms if you have an IUD? So the answer to that question is yes and no. So if you have an IUD, that is incredibly effective because of the reasons that I was just describing that user error is kind of eliminated with the IUD. So it's incredibly, incredibly effective at preventing pregnancy. So from that respect alone, you know, adding a condom isn't going to do a whole lot to basically close to zero chance of pregnancy anyway. But Using a condom will help with STDs or STIs, which an IUD does not protect from. So keep that in mind, that a condom, sure, you can use it, and that will make your chance of pregnancy 
just that much closer to zero, even though it's already really great anyway. Um, but a condom will help protect against sexually transmitted infections. And question number five. I have the Nexplanon implant that hasn't been working, so I'm also on low-dose birth control pills. What are the chances of me getting pregnant if my boyfriend uh, ejaculated in me a few weeks ago? So, I suspect the reason that you're on pills with the implant is probably more just because you were having some breakthrough or irregular period bleeding. Um, so that in and of itself, your Nexplanon is still working, but your doctor added pills to help with your bleeding. So you're basically, you're close to 0% chance of pregnancy with the Nexplanon anyway. So if, if that's the case, if that's the reason why your doctor started you on the pills and you have the Nexplanon in, you're basically at 0% chance of pregnancy. You're, you're great. You're, you should be covered. Um, but the moral of the story here is that these questions are wonderful because you are thinking things through and you really are wanting to protect yourselves. So I will continue answering these combo questions, keeping in mind that if you use the birth control method as prescribed, they should, the chance of pregnancy is going to be incredibly close to zero anyway. So you guys are doing a great job. Keep being responsible and I will keep answering questions. And remember, if you have a question for Ask Dr. T, you can either respond in this video or submit through my website, askdrt.net.